The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me, and I am in the Father. <clears throat> then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Itong ating binasang ibanghelyo ay tila may pagkakahawig sa binasa nating ebanghelyo noong lunes. Noong lunes, ang binasa natin ay tungkol sa adulterous woman at dinala ng mga tao kay Jesus at nais nilang batuhin. At ngayon sa ating ebanghelyo, mayroon na namang batuhang magaganap sana. Gustong batuhin ng mga tao si Jesus. At ito hindi dahil siya'y nangangalunyaw, pero ito'y dahil siya ay inaaksahan nila ng blasphemy. Isang malaking kasalanan sa mga Hudyo na pinapatawan ng kamatayan dahil sinasabi ni Jesus na siya ay Diyos. And in both stories, makikita natin kung papaano sumagot ang ating Panginoong sa Kristo. Sa kanilang banta na siya ay patayin at ganun din sa banta nila na patayin yung babae, ang tanging sagot ng ating Panginoon ay hindi violence. He never retaliated against them. Kung inyo matatandaan, doon sa kwento ng babae, anong ginawa ng Jesus? Sumulat lamang siya doon sa lupa. At dahil doon, isa-isa nag-alisan yung mga tao. Dito naman, hindi niya sinagot sila. Pero, sinabi lang niya sa kanila, kung if I am not performing my father's works, then do not believe me. But I, but if I perform them, even if you don't believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand. Hindi na niya kinumbinsi sila. He was just telling them, just believe the good works. At dahil dun, tahimik na nakaalis ang ating Panginoong sa Kristo. Siguro human nature sa atin, when people want to do some harm to us, we want to retaliate. Gusto natin gumanti din sa kanila. Pero yung Diyos, si Jesus, pinapakita sa atin that violence or vengeance, being vindictive, is never His way. Na kung meron man tayong dapat gawin sa mga taong nais gumawa ng masama sa atin, ipasa Diyos. Ipasa Diyos natin 
sila. Yun yung ginawa ni Jeremias sa unang pagbasa. Many people were also planning bad things about him. Pero sabi niya, ang Diyos na ang bahala sa kanila. Ang Diyos na ang bahalang gumanti para sa akin. And I believe that is a good attitude that we can have in our life, in our world which very easily resorts to violence, to hatred. I think we can take the example of Jeremiah and Jesus in our life that before we retaliate, before we become vindictive, isipin natin, it's not for me to render that justice. It is God who ultimately can render justice in this world.